for the next few minutes I'm going to give a brief overview of some of the basics of how to create and edit movies in iMovie for the iPad. So I'm going to start by launching iMovie and clicking on the plus in the top right hand corner. If you don't see the plus in the top right hand corner make sure you are on the projects tab in the top middle of your screen. Next select movie and at this point you can choose from a number of different themes so you can see the different themes here and you can select and see previews of each of those if you don't want anything too theme heavy just choose the simple one and then tap create in the top right hand corner so the first thing you want to do is to bring in some videos that you have on your iPad that you want to edit inside of iMovie. So I'm going to tap at the top right of my screen where it says All. This shows all the videos that are in my camera roll here. So if I tap on one of these, you can see the pop-up dialog box I've got here. The down arrow will bring it down to my timeline at the bottom of the screen here. So I'm going to tap on that, bring it down, and you can see now that that clip has an orange line underneath it. That means that clip has already been chosen and is part of my project. I'll bring down a couple more just by tapping on them, tapping on that down arrow. Let's do the third one, and one more, and it's as simple as that. So far this project is 28.3 seconds long and you can see that from the time that it gives you on the timeline at the end of all your clips. If you take a finger you can swipe over so that you can scroll through all your clips here and see what they look like by pressing the play button. All the clips will play back to back by default and just fade automatically from one clip into the next. If you wanted to change the sequence of some of your videos, you can reorder them. All you do is you tap on the video that you would like to move, press and hold, you will see it kind of jumps up in the timeline here, and that allows you to put it in a different position. You can do this with any of the clips, put them into any order you want, just by pressing and holding and dragging them to a new location. If there's a video that you don't want, you decide that you've got too many of a particular video or you brought one down that you would like to remove you simply tap on the video itself and in the bottom right hand corner you will see a delete option so you tap delete and that clip goes away if you change your mind you can always undo with the undo arrow which works for any action that you take in iMovie you can undo it by tapping the undo arrow to make an individual clip shorter, simply tap on the clip and put a finger on the bold yellow bar at the beginning or end of the clip. So I'm going to do the beginning of this one. So you just press and hold on that bar and then you drag it in a little bit and that takes time off the beginning of the clip. You can do the same with the end of the clip just by tapping on the yellow bar and bringing it back in a little bit at the end. So that shortens that clip down. Let's do the same with this one here. Just shorten in the end a little bit more. Makes it a shorter clip. You can split clips into a number of different parts and there are several advantages associated with that. So let's take a look at how to do that. First of all, I'm going to stretch my timeline here to make it a little bit easier to find the part that I'm looking for. And I'm going to do that by just putting two fingers on the bottom of the screen here and pulling them apart. And you'll see that makes my timeline look a little bit larger. It doesn't really make it any different. It just zooms in on the timeline I have at the bottom of the screen. So let's take a look at how to split a clip. 
This could be useful for a number of different reasons, but uh, the most common use would be where you would like to remove the middle portion of a video clip. So you've trimmed the beginning and the end, but there's something in the middle of the clip that you want to remove. So to do that, you move this video along to the part where you would like to make your first cut, and you're gonna tap on your clip, so the video playhead, the vertical white bar here, you're just going to swipe down that with one finger, tap on the clip, and then swipe down with one finger. So I've got three clips now. To remove the central portion, to remove the middle part, I just tap on it, and then do what we did earlier in the bottom right-hand corner, tap delete. And that removes the middle portion of a video. To add titles to a video, all you do is you navigate to the video that you would like to have titles um, on, tap on the video clip, and then in the bottom left-hand corner, tap the T for titles. This reveals a pop-up that shows you different styles of titles that you can have. So all you do is tap on one of those, and let's say we'll use the line title one here. You can see in the bottom middle of the screen, I've got the choice of center or lower. And what that does is it lets me choose the position of the text, depending on whether I want it in the center or in the bottom. So I'll put it in the lower side here. You can tap, so this can be title. One. And on the bottom down here, you can delete and make this title two done and it saves into your movie very simply like that so as you play through this clip now you'll see that a title will appear in the bottom left hand corner if you would like to add titles before or after your video there's a trick that I use for that I will show you now I'm just gonna scroll all the way back to the beginning of my video clip up in the top right hand corner I'm gonna tap photos and I'm going to bring in a picture here to use in my movie. Now the picture can be any picture you would like it to be, but I'm just gonna choose a black, I have a black rectangle, a black square here. And that's what I'm gonna to use to have as my titles on the beginning. Because if I wanted the titles before the video, I need something before the video to put the titles on. Otherwise, it's going to be on the opening scene of my movie. So I tap on my blue bar here. I choose my titles that I would like. So let's choose Prism this time. Title text here. Let's just leave it as it is. And I can change the length of this, remember, by pulling those solid yellow bars into the side here. Now if I press play, you can see the title text starts that way. iMovie automatically saves your work as you go, but if you are wanting to share this video with other people, put it online, put, send it to your camera roll, or other things like that, there's another step you need to take before you do that. So up in the top left-hand corner, I'm gonna tap the arrow to take me back out of my project. And here is where I can tap on my movie and change that to whatever I would like my movie to be called. The share button in the middle of the three icons down here, I can tap here and that's going to give me some options on what I want to do with my video. Where do I want to send it? So there's various apps here I could use to send my video to. But right at the moment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it to my camera roll. So on the bottom row of icons, there's one that says Save Video. If I tap Save Video, it's going to ask me what size I want my video to be. So this is in terms of the quality of the video. The larger the number here, the higher the resolution of the video, the higher the file size, the greater the quality. So I'm just going to go for a standard 720p here and iMovie will export my movie, save it to the camera roll. Easy as that. So that's a quick run through of how to do some basic video editing inside of iMovie.